Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's reverse the order of events and let's use the reminder, the remainder theorem, not reminder theorem, but the remainder theorem to find the root. With other words, to find the value in the denominator that will perfectly make the denominator fit into the numerator. We're looking for that constant right here, x minus what will fit perfectly into the numerator so that we have no remainder. With other words, we're trying to find the root of the numerator. So the way to do that is to try different numbers and plug them into the numerator to see if we then end up with a zero as a result. So in other words, we're going to evaluate the numerator for various values for x or for the number in here. So let's try that. So the numerator, the polynomial evaluated at x equals negative 1 is equal to 8 times negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 13 times negative 1 plus 3. So this is equal to 8 times a negative 1 because negative 1 cubed is negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 squared which is a positive 1 minus 13 times negative 1 plus 3 which means that this is negative 8 plus 2 plus 13 plus 3 and if we add all that together, that's uh, 16, that's 18 minus 8, which is a positive 10, which is therefore not equal to 0, which means negative 1 is not a root. So let's try another one. Let's try positive 1. So the polynomial evaluated at x equals positive 1, and we don't need this parenthesis right here, that is equal to 8 times 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared, minus 13 times 1 plus 3. So this is equal to 8 times 1 which is 8. This is plus 2 minus 13 plus 3. When we add all that together we get 0. So therefore, bingo, this is a root. In other words, if we plug in x minus 1 because it's minus the number, then we realize that there will be no remainder and it will fit into the numerator perfectly. Another way to evaluate that is to use a synthetic division. So let's go ahead and say 8, 2, negative 13, and 3. And now we're going to use the root here. Remember, this is the root. So when we have x minus 1 in the denominator, let's write that down. So let's put it in here. So we have x minus 1. So therefore, the root is equal to 1 right there. We then evaluate that using synthetic division. We drop down the first number, 8. 1 times 8 is 8. We add those together, we get 10. 1 times 10 is 10. We add that together, we get negative 3. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. We add it together, we get 0. And sure enough, it shows no remainder, which means we can then conclude that 8x cubed plus 2x squared minus 13x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 is equal to 8x squared plus 10x minus 3 with a remainder of 0 over x minus 1. And so that's how we can use the remainder theorem to find the root of the polynomial in the numerator. And with synthetic division, we can show that, yes, indeed, we can then divide x minus 1 perfectly into the numerator. And that is how it's done.